I just gotta talk about it. One of the biggest controversies going on in the WWE right now is everybody saying Daniel Bryan should have won the Royal Rumble and should be facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania as opposed to Roman Reigns. Everyone said, oh yeah, the Royal Rumble match sucked. It was one of the worst ones ever. Let me tell you sons of bitches who hated that match so bad something. This whole thing is not Roman Reigns' fault. It's not Vince McMahon's fault with all these people saying, oh, he's not listening to the fans. Fuck that bullshit. This whole thing right here, it's Philadelphia's fault. There, I said it. I said it right here, right now. Shots fucking fired. I thought the match was pretty damn good. It's Philly's fault. Those piss poor fans with their shitty attitudes. They're the ones that caused this whole fucking thing. We know they're all diehard fans in Philly. And you know what? Yeah, I get it. I know you are. I'm a diehard fan. We know you guys love the fucking independence. I get it. So do I. I see how Daniel Bryan is your guy. If this show would have happened in any other city, Reigns would not be getting the total shit he's getting right now. And I know what you're thinking. No, you know what? That's bullshit. No, you're fucking wrong. That's the real goddamn story. I fucking promise you that much. And you know what? Fuck that. Roman Reigns is talented. And before you think I'm some Roman Reigns bandwagon, motherfucker, you're wrong. Out of the three S.H.I.E.L.D. members, I always called he was gonna be the weakest link. But out of those fucking three members, every single one of them are gonna go on to be main eventers. And this is Roman Reigns' time. This whole thing was set into motion the minute Brock Lesnar beat Undertaker at WrestleMania last year. They have built Brock Lesnar to be unstoppable. He beat the streak. He dominated John Cena. And now he's gonna get Roman Reigns over at this year's WrestleMania, cementing him in the main event slot. If you think about it, this build up really, the whole thing, it is good. But you know what? You fucking fans, you don't know what you want. You say what you want, but you do not fucking know. Everyone says, yeah, we want Brian versus Brock. Suck my fucking dick. No, you don't. That offers very minimum to what Roman Reigns offers this whole equation. And I know, yes, Roman Reigns is not amazing on the microphone, but he will get better over time. You just gotta give the motherfucker a chance. Roman Reigns was the absolute right person to win the Royal Rumble. Tell me, I'm fucking serious. Tell me how Daniel Bryan offers more to the whole WWE to face Brock Lesnar than Roman Reigns does. Yes, Daniel Bryan is amazing. I get that, I know. But he's not the fucking future. I'm not saying he's washed up. I'm saying he's the current, okay? He's already a main eventer. Him facing Brock, is that some huge dream match you got? Is that, do you fucking think about it? You get wet dreams over that shit. Is that what you're telling me? I didn't fucking think so. This propels one superstar from the middle of the pack all the way up to the front where he's gonna be anyway. But let's talk about the match for a split second. The Royal Rumble match was not fucking bad. It had like two really fucking amazing moments. I'm talking rock hard moments. When Bubba Ray Dudley came out through that curtain, are you kidding me? You grew at least two inches in your pants. Don't you fucking lie. What about when Mr. fucking Yoga himself, Mr. D, D, P came out? Did you get hard then? Of course you did. If you say you didn't, either you're too goddamn young or you're a fucking liar. Both of those guys were huge surprises. I fucking loved it, and I know a lot of other people did, but no, everything's overshadowed because Roman Reigns won instead of Daniel, mother fucking Brian. What about Bray Wyatt? He had a great Royal Rumble run, made himself look really strong, cementing him closer up into that top spot also. What about Bray Wyatt? He had a great Royal Rumble run, made himself look really strong, cementing him closer up into that top spot also. But no, everybody got mad because he was the one who eliminated Daniel Bryan. You have got to be shitting me, people. Are you guys fucking serious with that? Look, Reigns and Brock will have a good match at WrestleMania. Like I say, no, it won't be five stars, but it will fucking be good, and it will be worth your fucking $9.99 you get on the network. Everybody knows the WWE needs more main eventers. And what? They're trying to do this. They're trying to fucking do it because everybody needs it and wants it. 
But then no, oh no, fuck that. We don't want that. We want Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. Why? I don't fucking know because Daniel Bryan's pretty damn good. Let me ask you something. How much do you think Brock Lesnar fucking cares about you fans and the WWE? At the last UFC pay-per-view, who showed up? The WWE World Champion, Brock Lesnar. Was he showing up just to hang out? Yeah, probably. It's all thrown around at the Raw before that. Brock Lesnar walked out on Raw. I hope this whole thing's a fucking storyline. But you know what? It's probably fucking not. It probably is Brock Lesnar being a fucking dickhead. Wanting more money. That's the only thing he can get. He's got everything else he's ever wanted. Got the streak. Got Cena's dick. Got the title. Got the WrestleMania main event. Bottom line. Roman Reigns will die for that company right now. So why? Why is shitting on Roman Reigns? I mean, goddamn people, do you really think Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar is worth all that shit? Everybody bearing Roman Reigns, are you telling me all of that, just that one match, all of that is worth stopping this motherfucker in his tracks on becoming a main eventer? Are you telling me that? And if you are telling me that, turn this fucking video off right fucking now. Because I'm not going to lie, I hate stupid fucking people. I haven't seen rumors online that, oh, yeah, Roman Reigns failed a drug test. And that's why Brock Lesnar's walking out on Raw. Who knows? Maybe that shit did happen. But I'll be goddamn to see everybody jump on Roman Reigns' dick in the blink of an eye. Because maybe it didn't happen. Maybe all them people are jumping down his throat just because. Just because it's the cool thing to do. Look, what's best for business was Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble. What's best for business was Roman Reigns Beating Daniel Bryan at the fast lane. And what's best for business is Roman Reigns walking into WrestleMania, beating Brock Lesnar's ass, and walking out the WWE World Champion. And if you don't see that, you are a lost cause.